Snot is good. No snot, snot good. Why do we get stuffy noses when we're sick? What does it mean if our mucus changes color? What is a booger? These and other very important questions will be answered in this episode all about snot. When you're sick, that means that some pathogen has made it past your mucus defense. Your body then responds by increasing mucus production and sends reinforcements called immune cells in to help fight off the invaders. A stuffy nose then is your body's attempt to block and expel an infection attacking through your respiratory tract. Along with this influx of immune cells may come some inflammation or swelling of the nasal passages and sinuses, adding to your breathing difficulty. Sinuses are interconnected cavities in the bones of your face that also produce mucus. Hmm. Here we have our sniffing nose of science. This clear tube here on the exposed side represents our nasal passages. Everything in these bowls represent things like dust and pollen, germs, viruses, and bacteria. Really, anything that could be randomly floating in the air you're breathing. 80% of the body's air filtration happens through our nose. Now, our first line of defense are really our nose hairs, so I made sure to give our sniffing nose of science some lovely hair additions. Let's start by seeing what happens to everything we breathe in when our nasal passage is clear and dry. Yes, Pretty much everything made it through. The dust, the pollen, the bacteria, the viruses, the germs, everything would have ended up in our respiratory tract. Now, let's add some mucus to our nasal passage and see what happens. everything that the mucus trapped, all of this would have ended up in our respiratory system. The dust, the pollen, the germs, the viruses, the bacteria. Thanks to the mucus, it caught every single one of these. Thanks, sniffing nose of science. This wonderful slimy conveyor belt helps keep us healthy. What is mucus exactly? Well, our mucus is composed of 95% water, 3% mucins, 2% lipids, proteins, and salts. Boogers aren't really complicated. They're just mucus that's dried up a little bit and maybe you've rolled them up into tiny little tennis balls. When you blow your nose, here are some things you might see if you're brave enough to look. You might see clear, which is great. Disgusting still, but good. It's clear you're healthy. White, you're congested. Swollen and inflamed tissues in your nose are slowing the flow of mucus, causing it to lose moisture and become thick and cloudy and yucky scientifically. Yellow. Ugh. Your colder infection is progressing. Infection fighting cells might be rushing to the site of the microbial infection. White blood cells are among them. Once exhausted, they're carried off on the mucosal tide, changing the color. Now it turns a little more green when the mucus is thick with dead white blood cells and other wreckage from the battle. If you are still sick and it's this color, you want to go see your doctor for some backup. Or if it is reddish or brown, this is blood or dried blood. Nasal tissue in the nose has somehow become broken. Perhaps it's dry, irritated, or has suffered some kind of an impact. Now, you didn't stick anything up your nose, did you? Did you? Did you? Brown can also just be inhaled dirt. And black. Yeah, 
This can happen rarely, hopefully not to you. This is a sign of a serious fungal infection. If you see this in your tissue, you need to go see your doctor. Now, we aren't alone in using mucus. Snails and slugs use it to move and communicate. Coral uses it to catch food in the water. And hagfish use it to protect themselves from predators. Mucus is pretty useful. Thanks for watching some gross science. If you want to check out another video, there's one right here. Picking my nose. This is why they say don't pick your nose.